It's a disappointing loss tonight. How are you feeling? Yeah, uh, not what we envisioned, uh, being too down. But, um, that's where we're at. we got to take one, other, one game at a time and go get them on Wednesday. Was it the right knee that got hit? How was that feeling? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a terrible swing. You hit balls off yourself, so, but I'm, I'm all good. How are you Oops. feeling in your at-bats tonight? Uh, you know, same way I've been feeling for about six weeks, cut my swing off, so um, i got a couple of days to figure it out. What were you looking for, that gallon of bat, and were you kind of surprised when it went curveball again? Well, I had a 1-1 cutter. That will not make me sleep tonight. Um, it's the one pitch I needed to hit, and I didn't hit it, and then he went three straight curveballs. Good pitch. This is something that... Curveball last one. Three straight, you're not usually used to that, but, I mean, it's not about that. It's about the 1-1 cutter that I missed. Can't really uh, measure the energy of, of the team, but kind of what was it like in the, in the dugout tonight? Uh, we were all ready to go, fired up. You know, we had multiple opportunities. We just think to hit. We talked about been... during the season how you and Mookie were the thumb setters and carried a heavy load. Mm -hmm. You guys are one for 13 yep. so far. What? Not, not what we need to do. So uh, just go take the day tomorrow and go get them. And forget about the last two and worry about Wednesday. Have the Diamondbacks surprised you in any way? No, well, because. We talked about this about two weeks into the season last year, uh, at the beginning of this year. They're, they're, we knew they were a good team, and you know, you got Merrill Kelly and Zach Gallon pitching really good games, and you know, our offense has been not been doing what we need to do. So we got to so get them on this. What did you guys to sort of generate any sort of momentum this season? We had it. We had it going in the fifth and sixth. We just didn't capitalize on those opportunities. When you miss those opportunities and the team, does the pressure kind of mount the next time uh, later in the game? Guys I mean, I guess that would be an individual thing. I mean, it, when you're in the batter's box, but um, you know, I, I think this is you're gonna as long as we keep getting those opportunities, I truly believe we'll, we'll get that hit. So uh, hopefully on Wednesday we can give ourselves a lot of opportunities and a couple of us could play it. How difficult is it to play from behind for 18 minutes? Uh, yeah, but I, you gotta give credit to our bullpen. They gave us a chance to win this game and. Um, to go what, seven and third, seven, seven and third inning, we only give up one run. That's what we needed them to do, and gave us a chance. And offense, we just didn't do it. Pretty, is there more frustration or anger that this team has in itself? Um, I think it's just more frustration upon ourselves that um, you know we had a fifth and six settings. I think a lot of us aren't going to be able to sleep that night tonight. So um, a couple pitches I missed that make me not sleep. So come get them on Wednesday. Freddie, I know you said it's an individual thing in the batter box, but do you think collectively everyone can start pressing in their at-bats? Uh, I don't I mean, I, I, I guess. I, I mean, that's an easy way to look at it when you don't get the hits and stuff like that. But um, I think we had a good game plan. We, you know, we had, gave ourselves the opportunities. We just think of it. When the pitchers were getting pulled early in, in both games one and game two, how does that kind of affect you guys? Uh, it doesn't, at all. Uh, no, it doesn't affect this. Um, I think Doc said he was going to manage it like game seven, so that's what he did. And, you know, big credit to our bullpen to give, it, give us a chance.